for sustainable development in Africa, where we discuss pertinent issues of peace and sustainability in Africa and across the world. I thank our colleagues in Argentina for this video and for the technical support. And in a special way, I'd like to thank and welcome our speakers. Today we've got two speakers and uh, one of them is very, very familiar with us because she has already, already spoken to us. And that's uh, Professor Dr. Margit Stein, who is a professor for pedagogics at the University of Fechter in Germany. Her main areas of work are youth research, value education, intercultural research, children's rights, and the prevention of radicalization. She has worked together with African partners from Togo, Niger, Mali, Cameroon, Chad, Burundi, Uganda, and Tanzania for many years. You are welcome, uh, Margit. And the other guest speaker is Dr. Kofi Emmanuel Noglo, who works as a political scientist, project manager within the field of international development cooperation. And as a freelance journalist, he worked from 2018 to 2022 with Irene, a Christian peace building organization where he assumed the role of management of his peace building program in the Sahel, in the countries of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, or Niger, <coughs> excuse me. He has been working since April, 2022 with the German International Cooperation, GIZ. He mainly focuses on youth, young people, the vocational promotion and democracy research. You are most welcome, Emmanuel. And they are going to take us through a very important theme, which is creating workshops for peace and democracy for the youth. So I'm inviting everybody now to please uh, mute your microphones and we give the floor to Emmanuel who will start the program for us today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. So I will share my screen with you so that you can see the presentation. Thank Wonderful. you very much. <clears throat> can you see my, 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 my screen? It's coming. Oh, yes. It's okay. coming. Right. Is it good now? You can see it? Uh, not yet. It shows that you are still sharing the started sharing the screen. Okay. Mm. Right. If it's not functioning, Emmanuel, I could uh, try to share my desktop. Okay. Shall we try mm, this? So. Yes. Mm. No, no, now it's functioning. Yeah, it is there. Now it's there. It's great. Oh, great. Good. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Great. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much. Um, as uh, we were preparing um, this presentation, Uh, um, it is uh, some communities that you are carrying out uh, since many years already. But um, uh, the conflict situation that we have internationally today, nowadays, um, for instance, in Ukraine, where Africa here, shows me uh, to to construction 
of makers um, so that um, we uh, uh, in the future uh, can avoid uh, those situations that we are currently uh, living today. So um, what we are going today to present And to you is uh, one of going today to present to you is passions works with young people uh, in Togo, for instance, and the pedagogy uh, that we use for this work. And then uh, we are going to talk also um, about the education project uh, itself from the academy, the youth was uh, for you. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, you. I'm, I'm the only, am, am I the only one who cannot hear you? Uh, or do you have all, also the problem? Sorry for, for my... Yeah, example. he's... Sorry, yeah, he's breaking. You are breaking, Emmanuel. Maybe you stand uh, yeah. a bit closer to the microphone. I speak a bit louder. Please, thank you. Okay. Is it better now? Yeah. I'm not quite sure. I do not hear you as good as in the beginning. Should I start again? Can you yes, hear please. Me now? Yes, we hear you. Okay, okay, okay. So, when very uh, this is all this uh, then a project that we have. Um, I think my my network. Uh, If you can hear me, please. Uh, uh, yeah, now it's uh, so that I sorry, it's it's, okay. it's it's breaking. Maybe what we can do, uh, maybe you try to fix that a bit uh, later. Then we can start maybe with the magnet. Then, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, George, um, I would suggest if uh, the uh, uh, PPT can be shared from somewhere else because uh, uh, at his end network is not good. So it's better if PPT will be shared from some other system and he will uh, he will demonstrate if that's possible. So that network problem will yeah. be uh, solved. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's do like that. Shall I try and Can share someone else my share, screen? Um, Mm -hmm. Yes, please, Majid, um, try and we'll see how to fix the other one. Can you hear me better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can hear you if you... Yes, we can hear you. Do you see my screen? Yes, then I think perhaps now it's better you could start again, Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Good. So thank you very much. Uh, I'll start again. Uh, can you hear me better now? Yes, it's better. Thank you. Very uh, good. Okay. Yes. Very good. So I was saying, um, as we were preparing uh, this uh, presentation, um, um, we 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 were not sure uh, of um, the importance of uh, of peace uh, peace and work with with young people. It is something we are doing is with nowadays. Uh, uh, whether in Ukraine or Sahel uh, region here in Africa, I think uh, peace building's work is so important uh, for us. 
so that we have a kind of construction of uh, peacemakers uh, that uh, are important uh, to, to peace building works uh, in our several countries and in the world. Uh, so what we are going to present you today is some experiences about the work, peace uh, building work that we, we do with, uh, with the young people. So the presentation will be oriented on uh, um, uh, uh, um, two um, uh, uh, parts. The first part is to introduce you a little bit the academy, the pedagogy that we are using, uh, Paulus Freire's um, uh, um, pedagogy that we are using uh, with, uh, uh, for our work in the academy, and also uh, a project that we are uh, working on together with the University of Festa, uh, um, that, that those will be the two, uh, main parts uh, of uh, the presentation today. Next slide, please. So um, beginning um, with uh, the initial uh, situation um, uh, in the context of uh, the creation of the academy, we have experienced uh, many years of uh, uh, what um, scientists call a dictatorship uh, or authoritarianism um, in, in Togo uh, since the uh, 60s till 2005. And uh, this system uh, led to a kind of uh, um, uh, 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 a lack of trust of young people uh, in civil society and politics. And the rise of also uh, social injustice, a high poverty rate, and also um, illiteracy among uh, many people uh, in the country, uh, the country where the Academy of Belimo was created. Um, the challenge we have is that uh, it is uh, due to this initial situation, it was important or it is important to work or to empower young people for peaceful democratic coexistence and willingness to actively involve themselves as citizens in the construction of their several countries. So um, due to this challenge, we uh, we were two uh, at that time in 2011. My myself and uh, uh, Mr. Kosik Batiabo, who is currently who currently working in in uh, Ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire, we decided to build or to create to found an initiative uh, 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 that uh, is called Academy Berimo where we can gather the young people and accompany them uh, in a way of the contribution, uh, their own contribution for a peaceful society where they can uh, realize uh, their dreams, uh, where they can live uh, in a, um, um, a peaceful manner with uh, other people in their country. So in 2000, 11, as we begin with this initiative, we are now uh, present uh, more or less in the countries like Niger, Cameroon, and Burkina Faso, and also Germany, but the main organization is still in Togo. So uh, where uh, comes the name uh, Belimo? Belimo is uh, a, a tongue of uh, the northern part of Togo, uh, called Basar. And the meaning of Belimong is that if we are together, uh, uh, we will live better. So uh, we have chosen this name in order to express the vision of solidarity and mutual respect that we want to uh, teach or in, uh, in which we want to accompany young people uh, in the work that we are doing in our uh, in the academy so the vision that we have for this academy or we had for this academy is to build a kind of space 
were for and by young people were the main to strengthen the confidence in their self and in the group. And uh, a space also where they can learn openness for all young people, regardless of social status, religious uh, origin, ethnical origin, social or educational background. And uh, that should be also a space where the principle of voluntary accompaniment and promotion of one's own social engagement by the peers, uh, what we regularly call ambassador de la citoyenneté utile or educational, peace educational ambassadors uh, can also find uh, a space uh, to be lived. Uh, this is uh, a flyer uh, for uh, an activity uh, uh, that we we have uh, organized in February uh, 2022 uh, in Togo. <clears throat> and uh, if we go further, the profile that uh, we want uh, to have for the academy is uh, a space for political education uh, work, for peace work, for uh, commitment for justice and democracy among young people. What we usually uh, call in French, formation continue à la citoyenneté utile. The target group that we have uh, is, is young people. Can you hear me? Can you still hear me? We hear yes, you very we well can. now. Yes, we can good. hear you. Thank you. Okay, good. So the objective also that we have is a kind of political objective that we have uh, or a policy that we have in the academy is that uh, um, to, to, to use the activities or the international presence of the academy in order to organize a, a kind of brain gain or brain circulation for all the young people that go through our academy uh, um, that we have accompanied in our academy so that uh, everywhere where they are on earth they can continue to be committed for their continent for the peace uh, work that they have learned also and continue making uh, their suggestion contribute to the peace work in their several uh, countries of origin. And uh, that is uh, what uh, we can call uh, help yourself so that uh, uh, by helping uh, um, uh, yourself, you will be about to help other people. So it is the practical way for us uh, to follow uh, this policy or political goals of, uh, of the academy. In this way, if, uh, if you, if you um, so politically we mean, if you are um, eager to help yourself and other people, if you can practice this, you will contribute to a society or a system that guarantees and protects self-confidence and self-realization, as well as peace and democracy or democratic development. So uh, in order to have a methodological basis uh, for our work, we use the um, pedagogic of autonomy uh, of uh, Paulo Freire, uh, with whom we, we do uh, actually our, our work. And in this uh, pedagogic of uh, uh, um, autonomy, what we actually make is that uh, um, um, we, uh, we try to accompany young people that uh, go through uh, the activities of our academy uh, to transform their epistemological curiosity uh, in a kind of systematic uh, 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 curiosity. 
So what we do with those young people is uh, to organize a space where they can work together with scientific, with uh, their own experiences, with uh, everyday life, etc. So that uh, all uh, curiosity that, that we, they have, they can go through uh, a systematic organization or uh, uh, experience exchange of those curiosity in order to build out of this uh, um, uh, curiosity something they can build on, they can uh, uh, take as uh, lessons learned for their own life. So, um, uh, in order to go uh, quickly and further, we have uh, uh, as a hypothesis of our academy, we have the hypothesis that <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> no, excuse me. So, uh, we have the hypothesis that uh, a citizen who trusts himself or herself, who, uh, leads, who leads a responsible social life, who knows how to implement his professional project and understand that uh, and understand that social commitment or the respect of rules in a society can lead to more solidarity in the society, this citizen is likely to work for a sustainable development of his or her society. So that's the hypothesis we took. But those hypotheses for uh, parts of those, uh, the hypotheses of, uh, of you can read there, uh, are based on uh, um, surveys that we had carried on in, in uh, all day life in Togo in, 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 in order to identify how we can accompany the young people to uh, get to the conclusion or to make them be people that trust themselves and are eager to build their uh, several communities, countries, uh, continent, etc., or even international, to get into um, policies that uh, uh, contribute to uh, a peaceful world. So out of this hypothesis, we have built four modules that we teach in our academy. The first module is uh, uh, the question of identity. Who, are, who am I? In which group uh, I belong to? Uh, what is the name uh, uh, of my country, Togo? Do I understand that? What is the role of the several ethnic ethnic groups that are in the society? I, I, I am I, am I one of them, or I am uh, 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 an ethnic group that are uh, that don't uh, or that doesn't need to do anything with Togo as a country, etc. So this this question of identity is a central question that we. Um, uh, carry on with young people in order to identify who they actually uh, are and what they can do uh, to change uh, some stereotypes that we have in our society. That is the first model. And the second model is uh, uh, <clears throat> sexual responsibility. Why? Because we have uh, found it out that uh, uh, Unresponsible sexual life have a negative consequences even on economic growth of uh, 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 the several countries or our countries, and also they have direct consequences on the development of the young people. So we thought it is very important for us. Can you still hear me? I ask from time to time to be sure that you can hear me. 
We can hear you very well. Thank you very much. So the second model deal with uh, uh, social responsibility. And then the third model that we have, that is also based on uh, um, um, uh, conclusion that we have uh, 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 found in, in Togo, is that uh, many people after the A level uh, begin to ask the, the self what they want to do at the university. Or many people quit schools and are, uh, how do you call it, uh, lost in um, petty petty jobs without a long perspective for their lives. So we thought it is very important to accompany young people to identify which kind of job they want to do in the future and then to focus on this project and carry on the project till the end. That is what we, we, we call in the academy um, gestion de son projet professionnel, management of the pro professional project. So that is our third model. <clears throat> and the fourth model that we have is the meaning or the importance of rules or law in a social group. Because we have found out in, in Togo, for instance, that you can see, um, how do you call it in, uh, in English, uh, light, uh, traffic light. The traffic light is red, but people uh, continue to, uh, to, to, to drive their car, to drive their uh, um, uh, motor, uh, so, so that you ask your, yourself, even if they are seeing the, 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 the red light, uh, traffic light. So we thought it is very important to accompany young people to understand the role of rules or law in a social group or in a society. So our idea or our hypothesis is that a young people that we took through this, uh, those four models uh, uh, will even will at least understand which importance uh, uh, those models have in one's life. So uh, um, the concept of, of the workshop is that we can use four or five days to go through the young people, through uh, these four models. And after that, it is essentially a kind of training of trainers that we, we carry on so that those who uh, um, took part uh, in a in a workshop, if we make uh, the how do you call it the evaluation with them and they say yet it was good what we have learned, we tell them so share that with other people. So the kind of sharing we we do it very informal. It can be in a school, it can be in a football club, it can be in a uh, in a uh, how do you call it. Um, um, with their uh, own brothers and sisters, etc., so that uh, uh, the only thing we need uh, in the academy is that uh, the informers that they are going uh, this day or that day to share what they have learned during um, the, the workshop with other people. So we delegate one of these ambassadors who uh, um, uh, uh, have uh, more knowledge in how those models is taught. <clears throat> they go there and see with them how they share the information so that if m uh, most of uh, information lack, they can correct them so that the, uh, the content uh, of uh, the four models uh, are respected uh, more or less. So this kind of uh, snowball system that we have help us to grow uh, with uh, those uh, peace uh, education ambassadors that we have in the academy. Uh, this uh, number 43 
uh, is no more actual because we have almost 90 young people now in Togo, in Burkina Faso, in, in Germany, in France, who are educational peace ambassadors of uh, the academy. <clears throat> and the 2000, the number 2000 that you have there are those who benefit from um, uh, workshop from the other 90 volunteer uh, that uh, you can see uh, there in the, uh, in the screen. So uh, in 2021, uh, uh, we have asked this, uh, ourselves what we are doing. Who, uh, how do we know that it is a good thing for young people? So we carry a survey uh, among the target group that have participated in a workshop with us. So uh, the result that we have is that uh, they tell us uh, in how do you call flag book? Um, um, oh, uh, I don't know the English version. The questionnaire. Uh, questionnaire. Yes, yes. Yeah, the questionnaire. So we 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 distribute some questionnaire with several questions, and the summary is that they tell us that they have a kind of uh, raising of awareness. Uh, amount among themselves. So they, uh, they now uh, associate their behavior strongly with the consequences, the social consequences of their own society. So uh, the the example that they always give us is that uh, uh, now if they are, uh, they, if they came to a, tra a traffic uh, a traffic light. If it is read, they respect it. And they also uh, tell us that uh, uh, they will seek light to see more, <coughs> uh, <coughs> more public activities in terms of learning experience uh, of good citizenship uh, with the academy building. What they mean with that is that uh, um, they, they need more uh, social activities that show the commitment of those young people. But it is a, it is a question of uh, money to organize uh, more activities so that uh, um, uh, we can not always uh, do more that uh, uh, we can actually do now. Um, what we also experience uh, or <clears throat> we see through this survey is that most of them told us that they have uh, uh, in, in the way of uh, experiencing solidarity help each other in the group. We find it so, so, so crucial for us as a result because um, we realize that uh, uh, since we have, we have telling them uh, leave solidarity with, with each other, they have understand it and begin more or less to cope uh, with uh, the, the, the new way of experiencing solidarity uh, with another. And here uh, is just an example of uh, uh, um, some peace education uh, ambassadors uh, that uh, uh, go through the academy. The first picture, uh, uh, is uh, Koko. Uh, we met Koko in 2017, and he had at that time a project uh, to become a, um, how, how do you call it? Uh, a, um, um, to have uh, his own fitzor uh, um. um He wanted to raise cattle? Yes, something like that. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and, and now, he has his own company, and uh, that 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 is uh, some examples of uh, uh, his cattle that uh, you have there. Um, the other example that we have here, it it is it is a way to show you that uh, the young people have several projects. Most of them want to carry on uh, their studies, uh, have a doctor theater work in international organization. This or that. And other want to be um, 
um, cattle uh, company uh, owner or things like that. So we have um, uh, many kind of projects, um, professional projects that to, those young people have in the academy. So here um, you can have uh, um, FA, for instance, who wanted to continue uh, his study, uh, law study uh, in France. Nowadays, he is in Paris uh, going on. And uh, at, the, at the right side uh, down, you have uh, Ludivine, who also wanted to continue uh, um, his uh, study in, in France. <clears throat> it, it, she is now there uh, making uh, her study. And uh, you have also um, uh, most of them who want to become uh, st 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 stylists or what do you call it? Um, Schneider, uh, Stevie's modelist. Taylor. Taylor, yes. Uh, and, and so on and, and so forth. Oh, so forth. And uh, so those are um, concrete uh, results also for us that show that, that uh, our third model, who, uh, who is uh, um, uh, uh, professional orientation for young people, is doing also well because we have results uh, of those young people that uh, we are following. And we have uh, here also some pictures of uh, how our, uh, um, how do you call it, uh, workshop look like. So you have, uh, um, uh, uh, how do you call it, an atmosphere uh, that uh, uh, support uh, learning uh, from, uh, from each other in the group. So those are uh, the pictures you can see there. And uh, we have also uh, as project in our academy, uh, an international youth meeting that we organize once a year. For this year, we had uh, the youth meeting from August 14th to August uh, 27th. And the team that we discuss uh, in this uh, um, um, international youth meeting of this year, was uh, uh, the millennium, uh, the, uh, the sustainable development goals, uh, which, which is the role, which role young people can play uh, in this organization. It is always also uh, an occasion for us to let young people meet, to know each other interculturally, to know the difficulties, uh, uh, the several, uh, countries uh, in the path of peace uh, uh, building have in order to learn how to cooperate uh, in a way to uh, sustain the peace uh, internationally. And uh, now I think I come uh, more or less to the end of my part. And uh, what we have made till now we have thought that uh, it is important for us to bring all those experiences in a kind of method manual that young people can use in an academy uh, so that uh, uh, the, uh, the knowledge uh, or the sharing of knowledge can continue among, uh, <coughs> among the young people uh, <coughs> in the way of uh, snowball the system that uh, we have uh, seen. And this manual will be translated in several languages. So it is now my uh, uh, the time to, to give uh, the floor to uh, Margaret to continue because with Margaret, we are working on this manual. Thank you very much. Thank you, Emmanuel. I hope you hear me. Um, yes, we work together in two seminars, um, the Academie Billimon and um, the University of Fechter. And as it was Corona and pandemic times, we had webinars and that was a great um, possibility for us to work also with colleagues from Togo and we formed groups there were always two students from FECTA and one of the educational ambassadors from Togo. 
And these groups wrote down um, the materials that was former only passed on in an oral way. The workshops Emmanuel showed you were just handed on in seminars, but we will now try to form some sort of written down material like a handbook for youth education. And this material is just laid down at the moment in German within these groups of students and educational ambassadors and is now just translated into Ewe, Kabie, Swahili, Hausa, and English and France, French. And I will show you here one of the materials that were written down by the students and the ambassadors. At the moment, it's just in German, but these materials will be translated. And there are also a lot of comics that were formed and written and graphically illustrated by um, creative designers in Togo, also encompassing that four modules. And at the moment, these comics are in French, but will also be translated in other languages. And you see here, some of that um, comics. The material will then be made available online. The comics and the handbook with the four modules and with the methods. And it will be, be available on several homepages. Like for example, of course, the homepage of the Academie Billy Mon the homepage of the University of Fechta, but also on the homepage we formed together with Sister Philista in Tanzania um, concerning fighting school violence. And here you see a part of that homepage. Up to now, this homepage is in English, also with a handbook in Swahili for good school management to fight violence. And here also the materials of the Academie Billimon will be um, made available. And here are some impressions of the homepage. We had workshops, for example, with Sister Felista. And these materials are already made um, available and will be completed by the materials that were now um, just presented by Emmanuel. Yes, we've here a um, short literature list for you. And now thank you very much for your attention. And I think it's still some time for discussion or questions. Wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, both Emmanuel and Margit, for this wonderful presentation, particularly this uh, idea and project of, um, you know, educating the, the youth and engaging them, of course, in this uh, pedagogy of autonomy, according to Paulo Freire, etc. So <clears throat> I would like to take this opportunity now to invite our colleagues, participants for questions, comments, and uh, you may, of course, also put them in chat and we'll read them out loud. Thank you very much indeed. I can see, okay, Hubert, please. Welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you to both of you. Um, I was very much impressed about the link from your pedagogic approach in the academy to the political learning and to create uh, political participation through all what you explained to us. I would like to ask you to give more briefly insight on how do you manage through your political, uh, through, through your pedagogic approach, how do you manage 
actually to come to a political um, impact because we could assume that uh, creating self uh, uh, confidence helping yourself and what you are focusing on the individual youth is not automatically going to uh, equity and solidarity society as we know egoism as we know free liberal societies uh, which is an economical challenge <coughs> for the fittest yes. uh, and so on so so how how do you link it or how do you see that the youth you train may switch it's not automatically so may switch to political impact in their community uh, in their family in their school whatever thank you very much mm -hmm. thank you um, i think i will answer uh, question after question, so that uh, uh, if if you will uh, uh, allow it, yeah, mm -hmm. good. So uh, it is a very uh, interesting question and important also for us because uh, two elements to 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 this question as an answer. The first element is that um, uh, during the time in which we were uh, making surveys analyze the society in order to find the best way to make political education without naming it political education. Because if you say political education, many systems uh, have more or less, uh, they are more or less a bit afraid that you are going to poli politicize young people against uh, a kind of system. But it, it was not our sense. Our sense was uh, eager that to help young people to understand that they have an important role in their societies to play. So uh, the important uh, message that young people should understand uh, in order to play uh, uh, the, the best way they can do that, their role in their societies, is to focus on what they can do themselves in order to become people that uh, are responsible enough to help development um, activities in their own societies. That is why during our surveys and our conclusion that we find, we focus on those four aspects that are also our models. Identity, because the question of identity is a crucial question in Togo, for instance. I know also in many uh, countries in Africa, because people identify it themselves, first of all, to their ethnic group, not to a country. But you have to build a country together. So the question of identity was crucial for us. The question of uh, Sexual responsibility was also crucial uh, uh, according to the conclusion that we, we found. And also the question of uh, 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 commitment for uh, its own or his or her own professional uh, uh, success uh, in, 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 in the society was also crucial for us. And as I, uh, as I told you in the presentation, if you uh, get a look around in Lume by traffic jam, for instance, or also uh, by traffic light in the circulation, uh, by traffic in Togo, you can see how uncivilized people are uh, uh, in, in, um, in their, um, how do you call it, uh, in, in their way of living with each other. So we thought that it is also important to, uh, to uh, to 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 uh, bring young people to learn that uh, the rule or the law in a society is very important. So our conclusion was that if the young people go through these four models, um, they 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 will have to be good citizens, not uh, not uh, how do you call it, not necessary polit polit polit. polit politicize <laughs> young people that will demonstrate against this or that, but people who learn to know how or what they can do to let their several communities grow. That is the first element or the first aspect 
of the, the answer. The second aspect is that how can we find out the link to that we were seeing and uh, really uh, the change that that brings to those young people and whether uh, we found <clears throat> political, uh, how do you call it? Um, 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 I I don't find the, the right word, but uh, what I want to explain is that uh, uh, during our survey that we carried out in 2021, we found out that every uh, all the young people that are working with us have or, uh, at least awareness that their own uh, uh, behavior have a consequence on the way their country is going on. So that is a good lex uh, lesson that we learned that showed us that uh, um, at least at the actual time, they know that if the cross uh, 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 traffic uh, traffic light by red, it is not good. They know that. But we cannot uh, now uh, measure uh, the consequence that that will have in 10 years, in 15 years, etc. But uh, in order to be sure that uh, what they are learning, they are living in, they are living it also uh, uh, in their daily life, we have a, a, a WhatsApp group in where all the young people that we are accompanying are inside in this WhatsApp group so that uh, a kind of sharing of experiences is always going on in this group. So a kind of uh, not only solidarity in matter of uh, I've, I've made this, I've made that, but solidarity also in matter of I, I have difficulties here. Um, uh, uh, how can you help me be a good citizen, for instance? So that is the way we are trying. This is what we talk about, uh, lifelong learning, uh, so that we can cope uh, with this problematic. But uh, uh, we, we will wait uh, in the coming years uh, in order to see, actually, when they engage uh, in political life and social uh, life, etc., to see whether that uh, what they are saying to us today that they have learned uh, will also continue in the in the coming years. That is what I can give as answer. My English is not so good, so excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. That's, uh, that's very good, better. actually. <laughs> that's very good. Thank you very much, Emmanuel, for that uh, answer. Okay. And unfortunately, here there are people who speak almost all the languages, so there will be somebody to help us out with German or French or, you know, mm -hmm. uh, so no problem. And... Uh, Yes, uh, Barty Jane, please. You are welcome. Thank you for coming. It's all my pleasure, George. I was waiting for the uh, uh, meetings. Actually, 6.30 is the time where most of the time I'm occupied as per India's time in my sessions also. As I mentioned in uh, the chat box also that I'm doing the same work uh, with the youth empowerment, motivation and all. And uh, this is very much uh, connected to my goals uh, maybe in some different ways but somehow it is connected and the workshop as you take so uh, my question here is uh, the workshop you are taking whether you are taking it uh, as an event uh, yearly basis or they are a part of uh, uh, regular curriculum in the education system or we are uh, like uh, finding the results every month or quarterly or yearly basis like the what is the outcome of these uh, teachings or standards um, what we are doing till now is that uh, we don't want to be um, um, how do you call it uh, um, we, 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 we didn't want till now to engage mm -hmm in um, official curricula because most of the time the official curricula has, has also 
the uh, kind of the problems that we have um, because uh, the way of teaching uh, in uh, in official uh, schools uh, due to um, um, how do you call it uh, many problems that they have uh, material uh, technical etc they are not uh, um, uh, they are not uh, in a way uh, to teach uh, um, for instance let me take a small village in Togo uh, the teacher in the first class with 100 young uh, pupils it is not the same thing uh, if you have uh, 20 uh, uh, um, pupils that uh, you, you, you want to teach. So our main idea was um, all those young people who are not uh, necessarily engaged in the uh, formal school system can also or should also be part of uh, our, our accom accompaniment. So that uh, what we do <clears throat> is that uh, whether uh, those young people are in a school or not, as students or not, they have the possibility to join us and learn what we are doing in almost four or five days. <clears throat> we usually use one week for a workshop. Uh, 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 it is not like uh, we have a, how do you call it, uh, a fixed um, um, uh, how do you call it? Termine. Um, uh, in German, we say termine. Uh, a fix, um, fixed appointment. meetings. Yes, fixed appointments. That uh, we, we, we don't say, for instance, that we should have four uh, workshops in the year, we should have <clears throat> 10 workshops in the years, but we. Um, we handle it like this. If we have, for instance, uh, 20 or 30 young people that register in the academy and want to uh, have a workshop, so we organize a workshop. That is uh, how we cope with it. And the workshop also, we organize the workshop uh, that, uh, uh, in this way that uh, all the, uh, the young people in order uh, to uh, accompany them also in the weight of their own commitments, instead of always saying they should pay for the accompaniment, what we can also do is that uh, they organize what they will eat, what they will drink, etc. For the meeting, they organize most of the time also a school, a classroom uh, in a weekend or in a vacation time. Uh, um, uh, uh, holidays time, for instance, and there we go with the knowledge to those young people and teach them that. That is uh, how we cope with it. But since this year, we have uh, been uh, uh, approached uh, from several organizations, also schools, uh, that want to <clears throat> work with us with us. Uh, that is why what we are going to do in those schools is to have uh, 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 um, citizenship clubs in there, we will uh, 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 continue to accompany those uh, young people also in the schools. Mm. That's good. And they, 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 they are going to read uh, comics that we have uh, created uh, for the academy. Mm. Yeah, That's thank you very much. There is also a question in I hope, chat. I hope I to... answered the question. Otherwise, we, we can keep in touch and, uh, and continue. Yeah, definitely. And I would suggest that uh, we can add uh, holistic <coughs> approach things in these workshops so that we can work on all physical, mental, intellectual, spiritual, mm -hmm. all five personalities where I am working. So I offer my candidature if I can help you out in your project. So it will be all my pleasure. So we can always stay connected with such things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've shared my email in the in the discussion. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Thank so you very much. much. Yeah. Thank you very much. I know that uh, <clears throat> as uh, um, Jane there just said, but Jane that she's also working on the same kind of project. So it's easy to network and and see how we can improve the situation, particularly for the young people.
Now I'll come to you, Afiz, in a minute. And, um, uh, but do you have another question or comment? Uh, just like that, uh, I'm also connected with the World Intellectual Forum, Youth Wing. I'm the international coordinator of uh, that. And we recently arranged, we, me and uh, Dr. Thomas Stefan, we arranged uh, a three-day workshop in the international conference on the same topic, how a peaceful and sustainable world look like. That is for youth. And uh, I organized the three days workshop in total practical way. And we could see the drastic change in three days workshop where the strangers, were there from all around the globe. They came together, they interacted with each other. You could see the confidence level uh, in the three days in the youth and they came up with their ideas, like where they are lacking in the education system, in parenting. So we came out with a lot of issues that youth is facing and where we can help them out in other ways, maybe political, maybe with the parenting system, maybe with the peer group systems, so, so there are uh, many things and I would definitely love if I get a chance uh, to speak up in the panel, George. So I would also share the things in details. So right now I know the time is limited. So I will conclude over here. But yes, I can contribute a lot because I am related to education system for last 25 years, more than 25 years. Uh, I'm an IT specialist. Uh, from uh, more than 25 years. And uh, I'm working on peace and non-violence. I'm running an NGO, which is working for youth and women empowerment. Uh, I was working with the Ministry of Health Government of India as an IT specialist. And then I'm an advisor to the uh, government of uh, Rajasthan for women and child development ministry. So definitely we all together can help uh, the system to grow up and yes, this is me, Bharti, uh, at your service. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Bharti. And definitely, I'm going to welcome you. Of course, I've already sent you already an informal invitation, but uh, we will definitely talk more about it and uh, you will speak to us one day. Uh, thank you so yeah. much. Uh, please, please. Thank you, George. Pleasure. I, I am thank reading you, also sir. a question here. How do you motivate uh, young people? I don't know whether I can. I should answer, but okay, please. Thank yeah, you. you may you may answer that, and then we <clears> go <throat> to a phase, right? Okay. Um, so um, it is a yeah. crucial problem uh, because, uh, uh, as as the person say, I think it's Oluga uh, Decola. Uh, uh, young people nowadays seek tangible benefits uh, where they are engaged. That is why uh, we have begun uh, this year to uh, work on a on a concept um, that we called, uh, I actually, uh, I borrowed it from Cash for Work, uh, that we call uh, Cash for Social Commitment. So um, the idea, uh, the concept is that uh, we motivate young people because I can, I can understand also young people, they are uh, um, now uh, in, uh, how do you call it? Uh, they are now, uh, battling uh, to get success in their life. So most of, most of the time I can understand and they don't have time to lose uh, on social engagement, engagement or commitment uh, here on there. So what we have done is that uh, we say, uh, for instance, for um, make uh, to, um, to give food in your moped uh, to come uh, from your home to the meeting or to go to the school and make uh, some sens sensibilization work for other young people, we, we may uh, pay for your food, uh, food, for instance. So that is the way we find in order um, to, to make them not have the feeling that they are lo losing something if they uh, are committed socially mm. as an answer. Mm. Thank you very much. Afiz, please. Afiz, Sufiano, can yeah. yes, please. Thank you so much. Uh, 
thank our presenters. They have done a lot of job by trying to fish out what, uh, what we call innate ideas in the young people so that it will reflect in the societal progress and development. But my question is that the time Billy man is from which language? That's number one. Then number sec my second, what is your age bracket targeting? Because I don't need to be asking that, is there any progress? Because from the presentation, we got to know that I can't, I, can't, I can't hear him. Can, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? The last... yeah, yes, yes, no, yeah. no, I can hear Okay, good. Okay. My first question is that the word Bilma is from which language? Which you interpreted to mean helping other by helping yourself, which you call or lead to a, a mutual progress in the society. Now, my second question is that is there any age bracket of youth that you targeted your program with? And he Thank also, you very I much. Said, okay. Thank you very and much. And also, uh, what is the criteria? Okay. Hello, what is the criteria of choosing Congo? And what is your plan towards other African country like Nigeria, which is my country? Okay. Thank you. So thank you very much. The first question, Billy Monk, is uh, um, a, a tank of uh, Togo in the northern part of Togo. Basa is this mother tank, Basa in, in the northern part of Togo. And it means if you are together, we'll feel better. That is the meaning of Billy Monk. And we, uh, as we are looking for a good name to symbolize what we want to do in the academy, we found that uh, Billy Monk First of all, it is a word everybody can say, but it means so many things. It expresses solidarity, it expresses mutual respect, etc. And it is that that we want to do in the academy, so that uh, Billy Moore was very, uh, 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 how do you call it? It is like a gift <laughs> that we have in this language to use this name, Academy Billy Moore. But the ideology of academy came uh, uh, actually uh, from the evangelical academies uh, uh, I have experienced uh, in Germany as I was a student there. Because uh, in the weekend, we were in those academies like Bad Ball, for instance, uh, and other academies where I um, uh, really appreciate uh, the um uh the the work that they do uh that is why academy and that is why belimo the target group the ages it is uh, uh, around 15 to 35 um, uh, it is almost the target group the age of the target group that we have and the third thing uh, why the countries i have cited and not nigeria uh, the the thing is that uh, the people that uh, we accompany, they bring the information uh, to other people in a kind of snowball bar system, a peer in a, in a kind of peer group work, uh, and it is in this way that the academy came to those the region uh, or those countries. So. Um, it is not a choice that we made ourselves, but um, uh, young people who are working with the academy found uh, uh, the necessity to have the academy in the country in where they are living. That is why the academy came there. So uh, uh, if I can say the criteria is the snowball system. But if Nigeria want to be on board with us, uh, uh, synergy is uh, almost a good thing. 
I hope Thank I answered all the questions. But is there any plan of extending the workshop towards other African countries? I ask of that. Um, uh, uh, a concrete plan, no. But uh, as I said, we always act in the word of uh, a snowball system, a snowball system, a peer group system. So if uh, um, a country, for instance, or a personality there is interested and want to to go together with, with us, uh, of course, we can we can exchange and see what we can do, right? All right, thank you. There are example, I'm sorry of the for... Sorry. Margaret, I'm sorry please. To... Um, for example, Schwester Philista from Tanzania, for example, is now also very interested in the materials. Yes. Yes. And she will also translate it in Swahili and yeah. uses the materials with her, with her students in school and at university. And yes. it is also planned to translate the materials into Hausa, mm -hmm. a language that's also frequently used in Nigeria to extend the workshops. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. But Ms. Afis, you had uh, another question. Yes. If I can have the material, I would like to translate in Yoruba language as well. Then, based mm -hmm. on the present work in translating the language, mm -hmm. have you experienced or tried to measure the impact of the language translation on the people in the primary school or secondary school. We, we are about now to translate the, the manual. So the translation is not yet, uh, uh, how do you call it, finished. Uh, finished. So um, um, when it's finished, we use it. And then after that, we can talk about the experiences we had uh, with uh, the material in those several languages that uh, my colleague Margaret uh, already cited. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Thank you what so much. I want to get involved. Please. Translating your Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. I'll get back to you. All right, thank you for that offer, Afiz. And may I turn to Egon, please? You've raised your hand. Oh, Emmanuel, I want to return to a slide uh, where I found uh, two terms, uh, own, uh, the own identity and the common identity. And um, more and more, I think we should uh, change um, the order. The, uh, the first question is to my common identity, and the second is to my own identity. Mm -hmm. um, and my, my question to you is, what's your experience? I, I will tell you a, a short um, story. I brought together a group of students from uh, Germany, from my university, with Chinese uh, uh, students in Nanjing, China. And uh, they had a talk in small groups. And uh, after one hour, I asked them, what is the difference? Which difference you, you found? But the students uh, asked me, uh, uh, sorry, we cannot understand your, your, your uh, question. Yeah? So we have the same interests. We want to have family, we want to have partnership, we want to have sex, and so on. And we are sitting in the same boat. We have the same ecological problems. And you ask us for differences. And so on this background, I would say we have to change our, 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 uh, the, the, the order and to, to ask for a common identity. And, and if I see your group, you, 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 uh, there's a group of white students and black students together. And I think they, they use, um, they use um, um, laptop. They they use uh, smartphone. They 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 come. Uh, they consume same music and so on and so on. Yeah. So actually, the time is coming 
to ask for common uh, identity mm. <coughs> instead mm. of, of own identity. So it's, mm. I think it's really, it's, it's very sensitive um, uh, thinking about, um, it's, it's a little bit dangerous to ask for my own identity at first, because it brings difference actually in an artificial way. So it's mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. I, it's actually, it's not the reality. Huh? Mm -hmm. So my, my, my question is, uh, what's what your uh, experience? Are? Mm -hmm. um, uh, first of all, to answer the question, first of all, I'll go back to the pedagogy of uh, autonomy uh, that we use in academy. So we, uh, we are very, very uh, cautious <clears throat> not to tell the young people that we are accompanying what we we think is the right thing we are very very cautious we don't do that what we rather do is that we ask many kind of questions for instance in uh, in matter of identity if uh, i focus that on togo for instance we can take some uh, small papers uh, like that we write on those papers identity kabie kotokoli eve hausa etc that are several ethical, ethnic groups in Togo. And we, we, we share them in uh, working groups so that they can pick uh, those um, names that we, we wrote there and make ideas ab about what is identity. And we can also uh, uh, write on some papers uh, things that are actually uh, uh, um, sexual orientation, for instance. Mm. And that all, they discussed that uh, in their group in order to see whether we can have a common identity in, do, uh, in which uh, corners or with which terms we have a common identity. Where do we have a personal identity? How do we have a chitra, et cetera? So that the conclusion for us is that to make young people know that even if you have your own identity you are living in a common identity mm. so your mm. identity do uh, uh, um, um, do um, um, your identity should not block the common identity mm -hmm. yeah. and the yeah. common identity also uh, should not block your own identity if yeah. i talk for instance about sexual orientation in uh, in our country so uh, there are some some fields where common identity can block the own identity, and okay. there are also fields where the own identity block the common identity, and there is almost a conflict within those uh, two kind of identities. That is actually what we want to make clear for young people mm -hmm. so that they can cope with it in in the society. Mm -hmm. So it is not necessary an order that we make. Uh, but it is the it is also um, um, it is only to make them aware of those problematics and maintain in their head that uh, mm. uh, if they want to grow, they should be together. Otherwise, uh, they, it, it could not work. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you so much. And uh, that uh, Billy Mock uh, sounds to me like Ubuntu and or, or Jama because we are thinking about you know the common that's common kind of common edit that uh, Egon Spiegel just uh, mentioned you know that we are working together and uh, through working together then each individual will benefit right and of course the whole society. Uh, Ben benefits and um, so why actually we say that Ubuntu definitely is uh, is uh, from the southern part of Africa, but Billy Moore from the the western uh, part means the same really, and of course also Ujama etc. So this idea is really great that we work together. Did you think about the connection with with Ubuntu, for example? Yes. Uh, uh, um... Of course, of course, and um, uh, 
most of the time I try to to read uh, some authors uh, who work uh, on uh, African uh, history. Uh, for instance, uh, if I think of uh, Sharon Diop of Senegal, or uh, um, uh, also from Burkina Faso, uh, Joseph Kizerbo, uh, and also uh, some authors of uh, Eastern part of Africa, etc. I have, uh, um, I, uh, I have the, um, how do you call it? I found it out that uh, we have more or less uh, the same uh, philosophy. Uh, of course, uh, mm -hmm. due to several problematic, we uh, are trying uh, to find ourselves <laughs> in this world. But I have the feeling that we have the, the same uh, philosophies uh, all over the continent. So uh, definitely, I can see a link to to Ubuntu. I have a friend also who had worked uh, on the uh, um, Ubuntu uh, <clears throat> theme in uh, his thesis. So definitely, Thank you so much. I find a link. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, I don't seem to see another question in chat, but it's also about time that we uh, we draw this to a conclusion. Do you have maybe a final word, uh, um, Emmanuel and uh, Margaret? Margaret first, and then I. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, thank you very much for your attention. And we also in the chat shared also um, links with other participants. And everybody is invited also to, to take the materials that will be online then in about half a year. And also to get into contact with Académie Billimon and Emmanuel. I think you will like to share also, the, would like to share the materials. Thank you very much. And hello, Philista. I saw that you also hear part of our group. Felista is also here. Ah, thank you. <laughs> so it is my turn also to to thank you um, for for taking time uh, to hear about our initiative. And I found out that so many people uh, are doing more or less the same thing. And I think we are in a world uh, where uh, our parents uh, thought that uh, we we'll never have a a, a, a war again, like uh, uh, First or Second uh, uh, World War. But what we are seeing uh, uh, in, in the current time um, should make us uh, uh, be uh, uh, more uh, committed uh, for peace work. So uh, I'm very uh, happy to, to experience that there are so many people that are committed in, in, in this field. And I thank you for, for the attention. And uh, we, were, we will try uh, to, to link to each other, to have synergies uh, in, in order to, uh, to have a, a global impact. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Emmanuel and Margit for your wonderful presentation. And thank you everybody for your participation. It's as always, amazing seeing you and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week, which will be actually a special day because it's the International Peace Day and where we really invite you, probably have also a toast. I don't know how to do it online, but we'll see. So thank you very much and uh, have a nice day. <laughs>